Hello everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in again and for all the new people here, nice to meet you. My name is Victoria and I live in Korea for four years now and I do videos about Korean culture and some occasional vlogs. Well, that's what I used to do. Spoiler, no vlogs coming anytime soon, but hopefully I can film some sooner than later. So guess what today's video will be about? Okay, that was stupid. You probably read the video title and clicked on the video. Ah oh, man, I've been at home for too long. Okay, so today we will talk about my favorite thing about living in Korea. I mean, besides Korean food. And it's cherry blossoms. And the cherry blossom season already started again. And I have massive FOMO. Cherry blossom FOMO, is that a thing? I'm probably not the only person who can see the cherry blossoms this year. So I thought let's have a digital cherry blossom moment and I will introduce to you five really nice places around Seoul where you can see the cherry blossoms and we can write that spot down on our to-do list for next year or the years to come. And I'm also wearing my cherry blossom socks. See here cherry blossom socks. And we have cherry blossom deco. I would say we are decked out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now let's have a sip out of my cherry blossom mug. Cherry blossoms are a really big thing here in Korea. You have a lot of cherry blossom desserts and cherry blossom merch and people come really prepared to the parks to take their pictures. They come with professional DSLRs, tripods, suitcases. It's not as casual and relaxed as you might imagine it. <laughs> The dress code for cherry blossom viewing seems to be a trench coat, light wash jeans and light sneakers and basically everything white and pink. Also some people are really eager to take their, I guess what they think, perfect photo. Some people climb on trees or drag the branches into their picture or even cut the branches off to be able to hold them in the picture. Seeing that always upsets me because, you know, the trees are for everyone, so... Uh, um, oh, okay, I, I gotta calm down this time. Okay, the first spot that is really nice to see the cherry blossoms is in Seoul Forest. And Seoul Forest sounds very serene and calm and relaxing, but don't be misled by the name. It's very crowded, very busy, and there are some announcements through speakers. It, yeah, I know, it almost sounds like an airport atmosphere, right? And you know, that kind of comparison actually makes sense. I'm sure it's less busy if you go during the week. There are little pagodas where you can sit down and enjoy the cherry blossoms. In Seoul Forest they have multiple spots where you can see the cherry blossoms and they have so many of them and it's just so beautiful. I think that one spot is called Eco Park there they have this bridge where you can go up and look down on this LA of beautiful cherry blossoms and I think it's a really nice place to enjoy the cherry blossoms even though it's crowded. You can get to Seoul Forest by taking the Buntang line, I think it's the yellow line number three. And you just get off at the subway station Seoul Soup, Seoul Forest. But it's not really a forest, it's more like a park. And take exit three and then you can just follow the crowds or check out the map at the entrance of the forest. The second spot is in Yangjie and this spot is really nice because it's way less touristy, less crowded and there you can get a feeling for an authentic Korean neighborhood. There are many people just jogging or on their way back home after work. They also have a bridge which seems to be the selfie spot. I think bridges overlooking 
a nice cherry blossom scenery is a very popular backdrop among Koreans and I guess it makes sense because look how beautiful it is! <laughs> They also have Gennari, which is this yellow cute blooming bush. I don't know the English name, I'm sorry, I should have looked that up. But in German it's Forsythia. I think the yellow looks so great against the pink or white cherry blossoms and the blue sky. It's all pretty. This spot is also quite easily accessible. You just get off at Yangjie Citizens Forest, forest <laughs> and then take exit 5. Blossom spot number three is Sokchon Lake Park. It's around Jamshi in the what we always call water headquarters. There they have two lakes that are surrounded by only cherry blossom trees and it looks amazing. Especially on a clear day when the water is really blue with the cherry blossoms. It's it's so pretty! <laughs> okay, I'm repeating myself all the time. I can just insert the same footage in every video. Like, they look so pretty against the water and sky and it's so pretty! <laughs> every year they have this festival they are going on with a stage and music. They always play that cherry blossom song. If you've been in Korea for cherry blossom season once, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, I can sing, but it's that famous song from Pascar Pascar. Cherry blossom ending. There they also have a lot of food stalls where you can get some cotton candy, the perfect accessory for your cherry blossom photo. <laughs> you can also visit Lotto World, it's this indoor amusement park that also has an outdoor section that is on the lake, so you will be able to see the cherry blossoms from there. You can also rent a pedal boat there if you're feeling extra energetic and don't mind sharing the boat with spiders. Or you can also take this bigger boat that is going around there. I've never done that. That was actually on my to-do list for this year. Yeah, but a uh, plot twist, <laughs> not happening next year. When the blossoms reach full bloom, that place is super crowded and super packed. The footage that you see right now is from a weekday, so just imagine what is happening there during the weekend. <laughs> You can access that place easily just by taking the subway to Jamshi and then go off at exit number 2 or 3. want to enjoy the cherry blossoms in a little bit more relaxed and spread out atmosphere then I can really recommend visiting Namsan Park. It's a mountain in the middle of Seoul and basically the entire mountain is covered with cherry blossom trees and there they have a long hiking trail or you can also take the cable car that goes right up. You can also visit Namsan while you're already there because it's a landmark in Seoul. Inside the Namsan Tower they also have some cafe and restaurants which I think is nice if you want to get a little pick-me-up or a little coffee. The Namsan Park is quite big and the people there are very spread so you can just stroll around there and 
we were really lucky because the day we went there it was pretty windy and the sakura petals were already coming down and i think out of all the places that i'm introducing in this video this is definitely my number one spot this one is actually not that close to a subway station you have to walk a little bit but yeah i think it's all in walking distance so you just get off at the subway station in myeongdong and then take exit 4 and then you basically see the tower from afar so you can't really miss it or you can also go to the cable car i will link all the addresses in the description box so you can check that out if you want to take the cable car you don't want to look into the camera no really no mm -hmm. and pretend like you're having a good time <laughs> <laughs> so that people don't think that I'm always dragging you around to all the places that I want to see. Oh, uh, that is true. <laughs> Let's so. stop by. Spot number five is a very classic cherry blossom viewing spot. It's at Yoido and there they have a park that spreads along the Han River and there you will see a very typical Korean thing which is camping. <laughs> Many people come and set up their tents in the morning and then hang out there and yeah actually if you hang out in the tent you can't really see the cherry blossoms so what's the deal? <laughs> Around there you can buy lots of street food. I don't know why but a very popular snack is bondagi. It's a boiled or a steamed silkworm worm you know the pre I mean not warm but like the pre silk moth thing it has a very distinct strong smell um well you can try it if you're an adventurous eater i personally can recommend the hot dog instead and pro tip you can also get food delivered right to the river i think that makes the ultimate korean convenience cherry blossom experience so this spot is really great if you want to do a picnic with your friends but if you want to avoid the crowds you can also take the street that is parallel to the park and if you walk a little bit further then there is another you guessed it bridge <laughs> from there you can overlook the river the cherry blossoms and you see namsan in the background it's it's perfect i went there last year with my dear friend caitlin and we just had the most perfect spring day that's a really nice memory at night they illuminate the trees and that's also just incredibly pretty yeah i'm sorry i'm saying pretty way too often and again this place is also easily accessible by subway you just go to yoinaru station and then you can go to the park through exit two or three Okay, I really hope this cherry blossom video gave you the cherry blossom fix that you needed. I hope you're not too sad that you can't see the cherry blossoms this year. All the cherry blossom festivals around Seoul are also cancelled and the next spring will come and then we can all go and see the cherry blossoms. That's the plan for now. Also, if you can recommend any nice cherry blossom spots around Seoul, then please let me know and maybe I can go there and film a part two of this video next year. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will just enjoy the cherry blossoms in Animal Crossing. That's basically where my social life takes place now and I can't complain, my friends treat me very well. <laughs> If you want to see more cherry blossom videos, I filmed a few last year, so I will link the playlist in the description box and yeah, you can check it out if you're interested. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and stay safe, stay sane and see you next time. Bye!